It's time, my friends. It's time for the group stage of the 2026 World Cup. We get Portugal as our first game. You know, the best team in the group. That that should be. It should be. Hey there, welcome back. It's episode four of From Backpack to Boss as the U.S. national team manager. It's the 2026 World Cup, my friends. We've got Portugal, Serbia, and Paraguay playing them playing each other as well. Let's get you caught up on um, the stage that we're in. Mexico and Uruguay are at the top of their group, knocking off Romania and Iran. England and Ivory Coast. Actually, I, I think I could show this to you differently, couldn't I? Matches. Matches. Let's go back. So, Mexico beat Iran 3-0. Uruguay, or Uruguay, I'm not sure. Um, It's Uruguay. That's, that's always been called, right? Romania. Anyway, 1-0. Great. Probably expected. Ivory Coast, 38th in the world, knocking off 6th in the world, Belgium, 3-1. Quite the surprise. England, 4th in the world, props to my UK friends, beating out Australia, 3-0. Honduras from CONCACAF, 52nd in the world, losing to Cape Verde, 1-0. Moving on, Chile, 5th in the world, drawing with Ukraine, 25th in the world. That's kind of a surprising result. Nigeria in 16th in the world. Uh, beating Jamaica, 17th world, 4-3. That's an exciting game with a penalty. So 7th minute, 26th minute, 46th minute. So they take the lead. 57th minute equalizer, 2 minutes later penalty. 6 minutes later, uh, another equalizer. And then in the 87th minute, getting the winner. Exciting game. Spain, as you might expect, 3rd in the world, knocking off Ireland, 20, what was that? 23rd in the world, 2-0. Croatia who we played in a friendly, and they smoked us at home. We'll talk about that in a second. Losing out to Canada, also from CONCACAF, 47th of the world, knocking off 31st Croatia. Go CONCACAF. Argentina, second in the world. Okay, Portugal maybe is first in the world. Maybe this, I don't know. We should probably look at that. And uh, knocking off 32nd in the world. Scotland, Brazil, and Germany, 10th. Germany, surprisingly, in 18th. Look at that. Look at that dip. What happened there? But they're they're kind of coming back, drawing with Brazil, and that's where we find ourselves. So let's look. Portugal. Who? What are they? Oh, they're first at the top of the world. <laughs> All right. So we played played two friendlies, hosted uh, Uruguay and Croatia. Two two draw. Kind of disappointed to be honest with you because they had a man sent off in the seventy fourth minute, and then we gave up in uh actually the lead. In the 86th minute, and we had to go, like, three at the back, two midfielders, and, like, two wingers, pull a stick in the middle, and, a, you know, two up top to get an equalizer. Kind of disappointed in that, and lots of yellow cards. Croatia, I want to rotate in some people, I think. I maybe did that a little bit. Maybe not. Yeah, Matt George was coming off injury. We had a bunch of injury issues. Horvath on a 6.0. Woof, my friend. And we just, we literally did nothing until the 83rd minute. So that was, that's not the result you want 10 days before the World Cup, especially on home soil, but it is what it is. Let's take a look at the squad we have selected. Horvath, Lawrence, and and uh, Carlos Werner are going to be our goalkeepers. That hasn't changed throughout qualifying for us. Horvath is having a bit of a mare of a run of games, right? Um... Not playing so hot. So we do have Lawrence as an option, and he's playing well for uh, Alborg. Hi, Denmark fans. Uh, but, you know, he's not as experienced. Horvath is kind of like the level head, right? Matt George was coming off injury. Of course, he's our right back. Kellen Acosta can play right back, defensive midfielder, midfielder. He's kind of a nice all-arounder, as is Tyler Adams, although his favorite role is defensive midfielder. Uh, Andy Ashcroft... Again, we played him there on that left back where he had that, that horrible two-footed lunge immediate red card tackle in the qualifiers um, when we played him out here. But he's quite good, so he's a center back option and a left back option. Jeremy Bierman, same thing, knows the left back role. Definitely more of a defensive fullback or a fullback on defend than he is anything else. But he can also play, obviously, the center back role. Cameron Carter-Vickers, you know him. John Brooks, you know him. We did bring Josh Ramos, the 27-year-old. He's got four caps all under us. 
uh, or all under me, I should say. Yes, you're here too. You're helping, right? Uh, definitely more of like a defensive center back, but we needed some depth there. Emerson Heinemann is finally off injury. He's coming back in. Happy to have him. He's got 51 caps to his name. Kanaus, Dominguez, Pulisic, Soto, Devontae Parker. I don't know if you've seen him. He was injured the last go around, and so we didn't bring him in. But we needed I'm, – I'm, we're going to be playing some 4-1-4-1 in this tournament against Portugal. So I needed somebody that was more natural at the right midfielder role. And he's just a good, like, all-around rotational guy. He's got 28 caps. Decent player to have on the squad. We are bringing Keegan Tapia, who we got his, he's got, got his first cap under us. He actually got his first goal. Uh, banged one in kind of off of a deflection in uh, one of the friendly games. So, again, he could play that, that left wing role if we need him to. But that's where Pulisic's going to play. You know, when we're playing that formation. Uh, Sio Peppa, uh, Gordon Figuera, who's the attacking midfielder. And he could also play mid central midfield. Then our strike options. We only brought three, which might be risky. Is Jesus Angulo, um, Seth Chambers, and Kermit Lee. So those are the three that we've had. We dropped Jordan Morris, unfortunately. Just couldn't find space for him. You might notice Eric Palmer Brown is missing from the uh, center back options. He's got a hernia. He's out for like the first week and a half of the tournament and then he's not going to be uh matt sharp so i just had to say oh man hate to i hate to do this to you but we're going to drop you i did actually call up tim bravo uh before the friendlies uh as an option left back he's going to have other opportunities i think so we got andy ashcroft and jeremy bierman who are more natural there or they're natural there they're not more natural bravo is a natural left back as well so that's our selection for today or for the for the world cup this is how we're rolling. We got pulls up. We're pretty. I had him in the wide playmaker role until I read the part. Um, I mean, it says shoot less often, and he's one of our best shooters. So that's why I put him on winger to see if maybe he can cut inside with that dribble more. Like this seems to fit him quite well. It's where he plays in real life. He's a winger, although we, I personally think he should be a ten. Um. So, I've got us playing defensive. We are playing the best team in the world as our first World Cup game. We just would love to get a draw is, is how I'm looking at this. So, I've got Seth Chambers in, which might be surprising. He hasn't been starting for us. Kermit Lee has. But, Seth Chambers is six foot five. They're both natural target men, uh, but Kermit Lee is six foot one. So, that's four inches of height that we're getting with Chambers. I'm hoping Pulisic can be coming up here and getting that ball off of Chambers' head. And then maybe, I mean, if we have to, we might put him up there. But that way, you know, we can try and try and dink it off Chambers' head down to somebody. And I picked defensive because it says, the mentality is best in boy for matches that you're favorites to lose in which you expected your opponent to put you under extended pressure. Yes. It aims to keep men behind the ball to restrict space in your half, to slow things down, and to frustrate the opposition. It relies on direct balls to the forwards, followed by sharp and quick passing to score goals on the counter. So if we're going direct, I've got direct passing on. I've got a target man. It's just like ping it up to Seth Chambers. Hopefully somebody's there to help him out. And that's what we're going to go with today. We've got the uh, full option on the bench. We've played them twice. They have won both games. Excellent. Excellent. So we're nine minutes in. I think this is going to be the only game we play in this episode. I think that's fair. And then we'll see how the next two games go. And hopefully that's not the end of our World Cup run. I, I'm thinking... I mean, you get seven points, you're feeling great. You get two wins and a draw. You're probably... I mean, you're definitely... Right? You're definitely in. I'm hoping five points. If we can get a draw here, win one of the other games and draw the other game... Portugal hopefully beats the other two. Maybe the other two draw against each other, and we somehow squeak through. 11 to 5 odds. Mm, it's not it's not very good, my friends. But that's okay. We're not supposed to beat Portugal, right? Um, I, I don't want to... Go out there and impress everybody. Yeah, yeah, they're loving that. That's like the first time they've reacted to anything that I've said. Look at that. Welcome to the World Cup, my friends. Oh, it's a different different view. At least I've not seen that. I don't know why all it was blue. 
Like they're a very short section of stands somewhere. Stretching it out. Here we go, get some water. You know, I'm warming up for the game as well. Here we go. Ze Gomez to Sanchez to Diogo Lete to Sanchez. Okay, let's see. Let's get the first stat update. 37% possession, my friends. Oh, my. Canals picks up a conversation. That's all he gets. Okay. Bernardo Silva getting too much space. <coughs> that's, uh, that's not very good. Why is it so bad? Why is it so bad? 60% passing might have something to do. Let's try. I mean, I know the game just started. We're adjusting stuff, but, you know. We're playing defensive, and we've got 36% possession. Canales picks up the yellow. Had the conversation. Picks up the yellow. Okay, they picked up. Uh, uh, yes, now one for one on the yellows. Let's just call it a draw. Okay, now we've got actually some possession going. We're completing some passes. We're not getting any headers. We have a target man. We're not getting any headers. It's not good. It's not good. We're mixing the crosses. They've had seven shots. To be fair, only one on target, so that's good. But they've had three half chances. Mikel. He's he's injured. I almost said wounded. Like, I don't know why. Because we shanked him in the in the tunnel. Uh, this looks like a goal, doesn't it? Oh, Adams. Nice tackle. I thought that was going to be like a sending off. Hoops it up to Chambers. He can't get to it, though. Maybe playing the target man is not the option. Especially by himself. Because there's no one to draw the opposition away. Okay, steps up. Adams, nice defensive midfielder. Hoofs it to no one. What was that, mate? That just gives it right back. I mean, I know we said direct passing, but it's direct passing to a teammate. Not oh, we've missed it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Horvath, you should have had that. <sighs> Okay, we just need to nick one back. We just need to nick one back, friends. Okay, this... Okay. So Chambers, offside. You're the only man up there. How are you offside? Okay, Chambers collects it. You're surrounded, mate. Parker. I think I think we're going to have to get Chambers some... What's he, what are you trying to dribble past him? Come on, mate. What are you doing? Oh, maybe goal difference is going to play in, you know, in, into our fate here. Heads it on. Oh, he's, he's beat our man. Oh, come on. Let's try... Since that doesn't seem to be working. That doesn't. Poacher? No, that's too far forward. We'll try deep flying forward, I guess. We, that's what we have been playing. I still think they're going to ping it up to him. He's, he is six foot five, But I think being alone is limiting his effectiveness. All right, we got three shots. One, we got an on-target shot. Give it all for the sake of our fans. They're, they don't care about that. Uh, I, I kind of need to yell at the defense. Oh, it's a disaster. Looks to gain confidence. Our striker has some confidence, my friends. <clears throat> I mean, we'll take off the defensive midfielder at the 70-minute mark, 65th-minute mark, maybe, and put another striker in, and maybe push Pulisic up a little bit on the wing or into the attacking midfield role, maybe. But, I mean, we're supposed to lose this game. I was just hoping to not, you know. Drawing would be excellent. Okay, Brooks with the safe play. Not, not judging you. They got lots of pressure in there on us. Let's not concede here. Bernardo. Over the bar. Ugh. Yeah, that's, that's why they're number one in the universe. Okay, we're not holding on to possession. Okay, Bjerman's picking up a yellow. It's not... Well, okay, five dollars. Five dollars. Pause during a highlight. At the beginning part of the highlight. What was that? What was that? Just kicks it long to no one. What what setting do I have on? Is it the direct passing? Does this... I, I turn that off, right? Does, is there a setting that says kick it to to the right back? Or their left back, I should say. Is is that something? Is that... Uh, it's not looking... Ruben Neves still playing. Oh, a two-footed lunge? Okay, no. 
Okay, nix it, Chambers. Come on, son. Beat nine people. Let's go. Oh! Oh. I mean, what are you going to do there? He had no help. He had no help. I can't blame him there. Okay, we'll pause. We're pausing, my friends. Adams is playing really well. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is a bad idea. It, it, it is, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bad idea. I guess we take Adams off. That's unfortunate. Kermit Lee, come rescue us, please. Are you both left footed? That's not Kermit Lee. What is. Okay, I feel like that might, ca for some reason, is costing me two subs. I'm just going to be really careful. Kermit Lee, you are right footed, my friend. Now I feel like we might be able to ping it up to him on an attack roll and put Lee. I mean, he's a complete fleet. He's a legend. Do we put Posick there? It's un uneven. I kind of don't care. Parker, who hasn't really been match sharp, will take him off. Bring on Figuera. He can be the advanced playmaker. Dominguez is going to be our box to boxer, although I think these guys need to switch positions. Because their feet are not the same. Um, turn these guys into wing backs. That seems like what we need to do. I mean, we're just grasping at straws here, right? That, I mean, standard. Okay. We got to score a goal. I'm going to go attacking. You only go to the World Cup once, my friends. You get knocked out at the group stage. doesn't do you any good. So, yes. Look for the overlap. I don't think we're going to do They score a lot from the wings. Like, a just absolute ton. So. Good luck, my friends. Good luck, my friends. Oh, it's a high. I paused at the beginning of a highlight and made a lot of changes. Excellent. No one else is playing today. They are not playing. Okay, just making sure they're not playing. All right, I should probably look at the game. Kanaus gets dispossessed. Just don't get sent off, mate. <clears throat> it's not looking good. <laughs> don't you two-footed lunge, somebody. Okay, step, just step in. Just You've got support there on the wing. Good, okay. Force the rotation. Okay, that's not good. That looks like a goal, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, I thought that was going to be a penalty. Okay, it's up to Chambers, who heads it on to nobody. And the highlight is over. And we're going to change... I should have changed this already. We'll go slightly higher for now. We'll close down a little bit more. I'm, I'm not taking any other instructions. I, I just go play. Let's not get too crazy at the World Cup. Let's just go play... Oh, another, like, I mean, like, 15 bucks here. How many pauses can a man have? Okay, beating on the header, and then we just let them take the ball. We had two guys standing there, they just watched the ball drop in. Okay, that is all part of the plan, right? Chambers, can't get it to him. Step in. Step. Oh, it's a ball over the top. Oh, he took, oh, oh. <laughs> Sliding in and trying to, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, that, that, oh my goodness. It's not what you'd say is ideal. Let's watch that again. I don't even know what happened. Except that we didn't get to the ball with our keeper. Chested down. Brooks intercepts it, but, I mean, didn't really help us out, now did ya? Now did ya? Is there anything else we can do, my friends? You know what? <laughs> sure. Sure, sure. That's fine. Oh, wow, you're not playing well. Doesn't matter. We'll put in Kellen Acosta. He's, he's more-ish. 
No, he's not. He's not even a little bit, is he? I mean, we need gold. Like, it almost doesn't even matter, right? Like, I know this is probably not what you would recommend. Enjoy that formation. Just let that soak in for a little bit. That's fine. I, I won't judge as you're soaking. Sure. I'm just trying to... He can cover this side. You guys come hang out over here, I guess. And we're going to push the line all the way up. Because... Because why not? It's 2-0. 17 minutes left. First World Cup game of my, my uh, coaching career. They've got another highlight. Oh, no. We don't have any defenders. <laughs> ah! We just need to nick the ball, boys. Just... Oh, great monster save, except that part. That was a great save, to be fair. In until until they scored. Yeah, the goal differential might keep us out. I probably should have considered that, but we're, we're committed now, so... We are committed now. Let's get something, my friends. Besides yellows. Not reds. I don't mean reds. I just... Oh, no. Oh, they're so good. Are we supposed to play, like... Everybody back on defensive midfielder? Is that what... I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Great save. It's a long ball to Lee. We have lots of people forward. All right, let's do something. Pass to one of the three open people that are standing together. Useful. You know, just stand in a big pack so one person can mark all of you. Pull us like we scored our first World Cup goal. It's it's a little late. It's a little late. <clears throat> right. Soak it in, my friends. Helps out the goal differential. If we score three here in the next five or six minutes, I don't know what I'm going to do. Flip this chair back, probably. Fall out of it. Yeah. I don't think that's going to happen, do you? No. No, no they're going to keep on pressing because they are mean, evil Portuguese people. Horvath, nice. Now, let's go. Come on, Horvath. We've got lots of men forward. Let's make it 4-2. Or let's lose it. Yeah. Does he not have the leg to get it to our target man who's six foot five? I just want to point that a six foot five. Figura. Okay. Chambers collects it. Nice. Oh, ambitious ball. Oh, I thought that was going out of bounds. No. Okay, now they're yeah. Oh, that was a nice. Was that with the outside of his foot? You have to step in front of that. Brooks? Why would you just watch that come in? So I'm wondering what you're thinking as you're watching this. Like, oh, it's kind of expected. Or, wow, you're an idiot. Could be a little bit of both. Maybe it's bad for the confidence. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, not another. Horvath with a monster save. 23 shots, 11 on target. We've only let five of those in. It's not ideal. Chambers heads it away. Anybody want to get the ball? Don't kick it out of bounds. There you go. CCV. Pulisic. Alrighty. Ball up to nobody. Kicks it straight out of bounds. Uh, it's not It's not great. It's not great, really. Oh, CCV. Alright. Oh, can't get to it. Oh, we have so many men there. How can you not get the ball forward? In the misery. Don't score again. You've already got a plus four goal differential. Okay, Dominguez coming back. Nice job, midfielder. A nice clearance. Hey, we actually got the ball up to somebody in a white jersey. Good job. And now we got straight dispossessed. Even though we have four people that we could pass to, we decide to run straight at them. Okay. Uh, I thought they were. I thought that was pausing for yellow. That's good. Things are good. Yeah, it's not, that's not how you want to start, but really, again, I wasn't expected to win that game, so I thought we'd go for it. I'm far from, ple I mean, 
Pulse like, oh, he's demotivated. The last person you want to demotivate on the team. Ooh, okay. Let's hope somebody else. Yeah, um, right. John Brooks is great. Um... Uh, yeah, sure. Nothing has changed, I believe, in the team. Um, anything could happen. Um, these are tough questions. There's a locker room full of players itching to put things right. Yeah. I'd rather not do all the final score. I probably should have made the adjustment. Sure, sure. Okay. So let's look at the board. Okay. I mean, yeah, they're just, we were supposed to lose that game. It's still 50%. Okay. All right. Squad, not feeling it. Not feeling it. Huh. <laughs> so. We are now in a must-win situation with Paraguay and Serbia, my friends. And, uh, yeah. And then we've got a friendly. Who cares, right? So, I don't know. I don't know what to think about that episode. I think we we're supposed to lose, but it sucks to go out like that. What's, what's he upset about? He's erected badly. To what? It's, I love this. Anyway, smash a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you in the next episode.